Hello, my name is Paul Frankel at Sculptera Winery. Today we are going to try three different cabs and three different barrels from three different parts of the property. We grow a lot of cab on this land. Cab is really our, our strong suit here. And the first one we're going to try is the Hilltop Cab in a new hun uh, Hungarian barrel. Uh, this is a really nice match with the wine. My experience with the fruit of the vineyard is since it's a hilltop cab, the grapes get super ripe, you get a lot of jam, a lot of um, uh, red fruit comes forward. So with pairing it with a Hungarian barrel, you get that nice element of toast and smoke with, with that um, nice fruity taste in the wine. Let's take a look at the wine. Okay. So once again, this is a brand new barrel. It's been aging since October of 2015. And usually after about 10 months in Hungarian wood, you've absorbed most of the toast and oak. Beautiful color on this wine. And yeah, when, when, when you smell it, you pick up both a lot of fruit, but then a lot of oak, and it's integrating really nicely right now. Um, hun Hungarian wood had definitely has a distinctive smell to it, a distinctive uh, um, toast and um, grilled meat quality and it's working out great with this wine too. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. It's gonna age in here another eight months, and then after that, it'll go into the bottle. So that's the Hilltop Cabernet in a new Hungarian barrel. All right, now I have our Cabernet Sauvignon Bentley Ironworks, which is the block on the valley floor, and my experience with this fruit is it doesn't get as ripe as the Hilltop which is a nice thing as well. It, it comes out more herbal, more spicy. You get more of that classic, classic varietal tasting Cabernet. Now I've matched this up with a new French uh, punch on barrel. Now um, a French oak barrel, it takes longer to, to integrate with the wine. It's a lot more tannic, which works out well with, with this cab because it's a tannic cab vineyard and then the oak is tannic so you get just a lot of tannins which will give this wine a lot of uh, aging potential. Let's see what it tastes like here. Yeah, really interesting. Very different from the Hilltop where the Hilltop cab had a lot of fruit. This has a lot of spice, herbal, earthy notes, minerality, kind of that uh, a dustiness to the wine as well. This should age even longer than the Hilltop Cab, especially as the oak is slowly integrating over time. So it'll be interesting to see how this wine is gonna taste. And also, 2015, really solid year for Cab. This is really a nice match with the barrel and, and the fruit that I'm showing right now. Okay, we have one more Cabernet to taste. This is from the Old Well Cab, and this is from a neutral barrel. A neutral barrel won't give the wine any oaky taste, so we're really just getting that full effect of the fruit. Now the Old Well Cabernet is located on, on the valley, so you get more um, herbal qualities. The fruit doesn't doesn't get ripe till very late, usually October or November sometimes. So it's definitely worth the wait. I've always enjoyed making Cab from this particular vineyard. Let's see what the wine's like. Yeah, right off the bat, I'm very happy with the color of this wine. Looks very nice. Yeah, we've been making this cab the last um, eight years now, and what I what I what I like about it is that it's got that red tart fruity taste to it, which I noticed right off the bat. And this is really interesting because now we're not getting that interaction of oak and smoke and spice. We're we're just getting the elements of the vineyard, of that, of the fruit in this Cabernet. Yeah, it's tasting well. Even as a, a young cab, you can see where it's headed. Um, this is tasting good now, but I'm gonna barrel age it much longer. So this is how I, I'll go about going through the barrels, tasting, and 
making making a choice on what's could be going to be put in the bottle when. So those are three different Cabernets and three different style of barrels. Thank you for watching as always.